Today we've got some new driver testing. I've got both Skyler and Jackie with me. We're going to test the new TaylorMade Stealth versus the Sim 2. We'll see what TrackMan tells us and we'll get feedback from each of these ladies. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined by both Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here, and Skylar Kissler, a Sales Associate here at Second Swing at Minnetonka. And it's exciting because we have two, well, two drivers from TaylorMade, one new in 2022, that's the TaylorMade Stealth. We also have the Sim 2, and we're gonna go head to head in a kind of a, a challenge between these two, but also uh, a head to head comparison. So uh, I'll start with Jackie, Master Fitter. You've been working with customers a little bit on Sim 2 over the last year introduced now to Stealth. Uh, what do you think we'll see in a test comparing these two here? Oh, uh, well, I definitely think with the Stealth and what we've seen so far is that the spin rates are uh, definitely a little bit lower. Okay. So seeing a little bit more run out, a little bit more ball speed from that. And then, you know, obviously with the Sim 2 Max, it's been a hot commodity for the last year. Um, I, I think numbers wise, not and distance wise, probably not a whole lot of difference um, other than maybe a touch more distance with the Stealth because of the lower spin. Uh, but overall, I think we're really going to see a difference in the feel and the sound of the club. It is mm, yeah. it's definitely a little bit different. Yeah, that, that club face, completely different material. That's what Taylor is going for there. And so, uh, Skylar, I wanted to get your opinion too. Just, you know, what are you looking for in a driver? And, you know, whether it's Sim 2, whether it's a few swings maybe you've had with Stealth, you know, what do you like most about these two? Um, I like the Stealth. The feel of the stealth a little bit more. Yeah. Um, I think it's a little bit softer of a mm -hmm. feel. Personally, I think maybe it has to do with that carbon face. Yeah. Um, but I haven't taken a ton of shots with it, so it's going to be interesting. I like a driver with more forgiveness. I'm not as consistent of a player. And so it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Well, we have two different swings here today. So that's the neat part about this. We have basically two head-to-head -head tests at the same time going on today. We've got the Sim 2, we've got the Stealth, and we've got both Jackie and Skyler. Let's get some shots going here. So before we get started, Jackie, I wanted to talk about stock shafts mm -hmm. um, because we got the stock shaft in both at regular flex, but this is the Ventus Blue, yep. Ventus Red in the Stealth. How are those going to be different? Well, the Ventus that we got in the Stealth is technically not actually the Ventus Red. It's just colored oh, red it is. To, okay. match, to match the Stealth. So sure. actually the, the stock shafts for both with the Ventus 5R are virtually Okay. Identical. Okay. There is a, they use a different color in here, so you know technically, we're, when you're saying Ventus, you'd, obviously you'd say red, but the Ventus red is actually a high launch yep. um, that they have. This is more of a mid to high, so okay. it's the same as the Ventus blue. Okay. So very similar. Okay. Well, so let's start. Let's have Skylar start with the Sim 2 Max. Oh, okay. Hitting with bombs. The Ventus blue regular flex shaft. <laughs> we'll go. We'll have each of you two hit five with each club. So that's going to be 10 shots for each of you in yep. total. And we'll see what TrackMan tells us about these two clubs and okay. what you guys give for feedback as well. Sorry, No pressure. Mm. Wow. Right. Not bad. That's a low spin number. There we go. Oh, good ball. Look at that. Mm. That's a good ball too. Whoa, hi, look at the spin. <laughs> Wait. I've always had a spin problem. I can't. 1342 on the spin. I can't. So, all right, so that's five shots. Let's see the kind of numbers that, uh, that Jackie will not have to beat with the Sim 2 Max. Smash a 145, some pretty good strikes in there. And then you average 214 total, 183.3 carry. Uh, Scott, give me your feedback on that on that driver. I mean, I know you've you've hit that a few times mm -hmm. already, but um, what do you think about that? Give me your feedback on the color, uh, you know, how it looks at a dress, mm -hmm. uh, every, anything about it. Give me your feedback. Yeah, I've always liked the Sim. Um, I have the Sim 2 Max Fairway Wood, and it's one of my okay. favorite clubs. Um, you get a lot of good feedback with it and a lot of forgiveness, too. Um, those aren't my best shots that I've had with the Sim 2 sure. Max, um, but I know that without user error, it's going to perform pretty yeah. consistently. Well, and that's, you know, I mean, you got five in the fairway. As far as I'm concerned, that's good. You know, yeah. you're in the short grass. So that's a pretty good performance from the Sim 2 Max. But uh, so, so Jackie, you think you're up for the challenge now to, to top oh, those yeah. numbers? I can beat that. Let's go. Done already. Ooh, that was not good. Interesting. 
think that's more right than any of Skyler's shots. Help. Oh, we what got a little bit at? of a uh, common miss to the right for Jackie right now. Although, I bet the dispersion's nice. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, she definitely has a beat on dispersion. Look at that. <laughs> OK. Yeah, I think I lost. <laughs> well, let's Those, see. I mean, my first two shots were not very good. So here is the dispersion maps, Sim to Max, Jackie up top. We got Skyler down here. And chew. here, I'll bring up the numbers as well. So Jackie swings a little faster. You guys are actually the same efficiency at 145 Smash Factor. Jackie just launching a little bit higher, getting more spin out of it. But really a 10 yard difference here in distance. I think, you know, if you look at the, uh, the map is a close one. I don't know. You got kind of the right tendency from Jackie and the left tendency from Skyler a little bit. But uh, your feedback on the Sim 2 Max, because I, I think there was, was the third shot, I believe, here where, you know, if we bring this up, that's not the one I'm talking about. Hold on. Uh, the the gear effect. There we go, this yeah. one. So this one here, this is your fourth shot, Jackie. And you I hit that, I imagine, off the toe. Yeah, just slightly off the toe. Because I kind of want to see yeah. what that looked like. So that's kind of that gear effect, right? Yeah, that's why anytime like I've gotten myself to hit it off the toe more than on the driver than anywhere else, just because that gear effect does help mm -hmm. it stabilize. Yeah, the first two shots I had with it, man, just not great for me, but yeah. still was, you know, in the fairway, so mm -hmm. not bad. But overall, like, I mean, this is the setup that I currently have just in the, um, you know, previous version. You oh, know, Sim the, Max. the original Sim. And I have the Ventus 5R um, in it too right now. Okay. So, like, yeah, it feels how my current club feels. Those last three shots are definitely the best, yeah. like, better. And the first two were just miss hits, so. Yeah, yeah, maybe getting overall. the swing warmed up a little bit. You had these two with that kind of face to path over eight. And yeah. then these next three are right down the middle with some good numbers. So, yeah. all right, now we get to test 2022. We got the stealth. We're going to see if you guys gain anything out of the new driver. Let's, let's get after it here. Better? Mm. Mm. Little draw so at the maybe, end there. Maybe a little bit low on the club face. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Just because I see that spin went up a little bit, but. Ooh, yep. Oh. oh. That actually kind of surprises me a little bit. Interesting. Where Off did you? Off the heel. Yeah, is that? It must have been, because it felt a lot better than that looks. <laughs> Interesting, that's okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, so a little bit towards the heel on that one. Oh. Yep. Yeah, you hit that one good. Wow, look at that. So. Skyler, let me ask you, you've hit five now with the Stealth, mm -hmm. hit five with the Sim 2, after kind of getting it in, you know, a test environment, so to speak. Thoughts, any, you know, on the differences? Uh, maybe it's feel, maybe it's look, maybe it's performance. Uh, what do you got? Um, I think feel-wise, like I said earlier, I think this one just is a little bit softer of a feel. Um, mm -hmm. Performance-wise, honestly, that's pretty standard for me you know some of my tendencies the longer I hit the more of my tendencies come out yeah um, like going to the right or sure losing some yards oh, and yeah, stuff. I mean, so that's nothing major but I mean I like the forgiveness that it offers yeah so one of the couple of things I can point out um, you did gain you actually swung a little bit faster with the stealth so you then gained some ball speed and uh, I will say because of hit location you gained a bunch of spin there mm -hmm. but with that said distance wise you actually carried you know he had basically three or four longest drives of the day carry wise are with the stealth see mm -hmm. this one here get the numbers up this one there and this one and this one all of those were about 124 ball speed and then with the sim 2 max you just had this one that cleared 125 but other than that 124 on all of these three and like you, I, you had this one over here uh, is out of the fairway otherwise you hit everything in the fairway mm -hmm. for your testing. So that's gotta be uh, encouraging. So pretty good testing, I would say, overall, yeah. right? And then I actually did wanna bring that, uh, the uh, hip, hit location up uh, just so we can take a peek at that because that will impact things quite a bit with the, the spin, right? So 
this is that one that was over there in the you know high three thousands. Another one in the three thousands. Another one in the three thousands. See, these are all slightly below the center uh, in terms of contact, and that's why that spin's going up a little bit. And you see one you got actually on top half of the club face, and then that went down below two thousand. So you're seeing how that play that impact of mm -hmm. hit location can still um, really make a difference. But all right, so we got some numbers in place. Jackie, you want to see how yep. stealth compares to Sim 2 Max for you? Okay, I'm already done for. Ah! The mid swing pause. Uh, that was off that. the heel, I think. The heel, really? Well, huh? okay. Dead center. So, all right, Jackie, now your turn. Give feedback on the comparison. Stealth um, versus Sim 2 Max. Well, I felt like it's definitely a lot softer and it's it's not as loud. Mm -hmm. like, that's you guys the both thing. feel that too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like more mute. Yeah. Um, no, I like the feel of how soft it is. I mean, I felt like I could actually like hit more of my draw with this club. Yeah. Um, so, and like, I like to see that more to kind of, kind of keep the spin down for me and kind of helps me uh, get a little bit more distance as well. So I like that ball flight a little bit more than what I was getting with the Sim 2 Max, but mm -hmm. the feel definitely was, like I can, I felt more confident with it, just the feel itself, like I could just go after yeah. it and you, I definitely could um, see that difference. And just the ball speed and my smash factor was definitely a lot better oh, yeah. with this out of the gate. Um, so yeah, I mean, it felt really good. My numbers were good. Launch is good. I mean, all the way across the board, like those are some numbers we're definitely looking at yeah. when we're talking about what's ideal. Mm -hmm. Do you guys like the all black look? I do. Compared I, to, cause like, you know, the, the Sim and Sim 2 have had that kind of this, you know, leading edge kind of like white stripe. Do you guys like that, like this better or do you like the all black look? Better? I personally like the all black. I think the all Both black looks sleeker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like I would think like before I saw like the red face, I thought it would be more like yeah, visible than it is. I mean, you can kind of see it, but I'm not focused on it. Sure. So it's nothing that I That think is something I know we've had some thing. some commenters say that they really, they like the black crown, but then they look down and they see the face that's all red. Yeah, but that doesn't bother that, me. Yeah, okay. That's good feedback cuz I know that's something a lot of people with that, that are are curious about it that haven't been able to look down at it yet themselves. Um, but I did want to point out on the numbers here, both of you gained ball speed with the stealth driver. Uh, I know, you know Skyler was swinging a little bit faster with the stealth, so that definitely played a part in that. But Jackie was much more efficient with the stealth. And then also, there's a big spin difference, really, for both of you with the clubs. But uh, Jackie definitely was able to turn that club over a little bit more, it seemed like, and that resulted in some lower spin. But I, I think, again, this is, these are small sample sizes for both, but I think we're seeing right away that, that Stealth is able to improve uh, a little bit more upon Sim 2 Max for a lot of golfers, and I'm, I imagine that club face has a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, in, in, in far, as far as our challenge goes, uh, I guess in terms of dispersion, in terms of distance, I know this blue circle looks really good up here from, from Jackie with the Stealth, but uh, I think we saw improvement from both of you with the Stealth driver. Uh, but also the Sim 2 Max, I think we can agree, still plays as a really good value driver mm -hmm. here in 2022 as well. So uh, golfers, if you're interested in either one of these tailor-made drivers, you know where to go, <laughs> Second Swing or SecondSwing.com. One of our experts will help you out and get the right driver in your bag for longer and straighter tee shots. So Jackie, Skyler, both, thank you, thank you for joining today, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.